guys, it's Heather. I am back with the bath bombs I made earlier today, and I am now going to paint them. I am definitely painting them earlier than I initially wanted to, um, but we're about to have a really horrendous storm, so I may not be able to do a video at all later. So I decided to go ahead and do it now. I am going to start with these bath bombs right here. These are my market strawberry bath bombs, and they have black lava to look like seeds. And I am using, where is my mica? For this, I'm using emerald green mica from homemade soap making supplies. This is the first time I've used it, so we'll see how that works. <clears throat> Let's see. I just want to, I may have to add more alcohol. There we go. Because it seems a bit thick. Okay, this is my tester. I'm just going to paint my leaves. Right around like that. It's not perfect, but this is just my tester. Okay, rotate it. And do one more right here. Ooh, I like this green. It's a really beautiful dark emerald. That's pretty. I like that. I am running low 99% isopropyl, so I'm actually using vodka for this. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple of each one so you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's better. And using actual vodka, there is a little bit of a reaction, but the thing about that is what it will do is make it a little bit raised where the leaves are. And so that will puff up, which is kind of cool because that's what the leaves actually look like. They are taller than the strawberry. They don't lay flat. And no, these are not the exact shapes. This is just an artistic representation. That's all. I do have to try to work fast because this does react and I don't want it to over over bubble. Because then it picks up bits of the bath bomb. And we don't want that. See, there we go. And then I just fill in the middle. And we have cute little strawberry bath bombs. Now, sandalwood and shea, that's these pretty yellow ones here. I'm just going to do a gold line across the top of that because I want it to be simple but pretty. Just like that. Just a pretty gold swash. Just a pretty wash of color. 
And of course, when it dries, that won't matter. Let's see the pretty wash of color. Okay, and I may have to go out and just get more alcohol because I don't know how well I'm going to like this one in the long run with the bubbles. I think I want it to be smooth. Breezy Meadows is going to be the same. I'm just going to do a pretty swash, you know, swath of color on it in pink. There's my little tester. Oh, that tester's breaking. It was too thin. Just a swath of pink across the top. Just like that. And then I may add more pink around the edges. We'll see as the time goes on. Now, these are my rose ones that you guys watched me make. And let me see if I can do my pretty little rose design. I'm using, oh, and that was a mixture of Mayan gold and shimmer gold. And the blue, and that was from Na uh, Nurture Soap. The other blue was sapphire blue mica from handmade soap making supplies because I'm doing some tests with their products right now and I'm just gonna do pretty little rose swirls all the way around it turn it like so that one of our pretty little rose oh, and that one's turned out really nice I'm happy with that just do the little design go around and it's like making a spiral but not um, because if you look at a rose, that's really what a rose is, is a really beautiful spiral where the um, petals of the rose sort of circle themselves. And when it blooms, that beautiful spiral unravels. So there's the beautiful rose. I like that a bunch. Sounds like the rain has started. Not happy about that. Okay, I am looking for a cute stamp. And we're going to see if this will stamp on this. Right, let me get my test first. Here we go. And I'm going to start with the pink and I'm going to paint it on to the stamp like so and then press it mm, doesn't come off it does leave a little bit of a mark but not enough let me see if I can do a little bit more of the actual paint and we'll try that again darn it doesn't work it does leave a pretty indent of a heart but it doesn't make the heart so let me see if I can draw it on Just like that. So maybe I'll use it as my base and then go from there. Okay. 
Mm, I'm stirring up some more color. And mm, hmm. okay. Here we go. One, two, three. I've left a mark. And then I'll follow that design with my paint because it's way too faint on its own. And these are the first love bath bombs. So I just want them to have those cute parts on them. So that's what I'm doing. I'll mark them with the heart and then I'll paint the heart on. I'm sorry if I'm reaching in front and you guys see my arm. I'm sorry. Stamped it on. And there's the first part. And here comes the bottom. There we go. Um, the peace and love, I think I'm going to try to do a peace sign on one half and a heart on the other. So half of a peace sign, half of a heart. But I'm not totally sure. And that's going to take a lot more time to do that. I may even have to sit down to do that. Pressed my stamp in and just following those lines to get a really beautiful, perfect little heart. Okay, I'm sure you can see the little indent. This bath bomb ended up with some little indentions in it. Not cool. I will say this. I do put a lot of work into these tiny bath bombs, but it's because I want the tiny bath bombs to be just as and enjoyable as you. And sometimes it doesn't... Um, it doesn't always feel that way. And this is an artisan product. This is something that I spend a lot of time and energy and effort. And I want people to feel that. And so it's worth it to me to take this little bit of extra time to put a cute design on each bath bomb. These right here are working out the best. I may find a few and instead use stamps on these. And then fill in the stamp indention. Because there's also much less of a reaction when I use the stamp. They're so sparkly. Sorry I'm reaching across you guys. I stayed up last night and I watched the crazy Netflix documentary. I really should know better by now than to do that. It's about a girl who's kidnapped twice by her parents' neighbor. And there was all this crazy stuff. The guy had her thinking that aliens were coming and that she was part alien and... 
it was a lot. And to think that this poor kid went through all the things, and she's an adult now, but that as a child 